track under Kieran Fallon, a 10 to 1 chance. Heretic and Michael Hills at 50 to 1, 66 to 1, the lowly drawn Imperial dancer Stephen Drown. King's Iron Bridge at 14 to 1, Dane O'Neill. Mayville Thunder is ridden by Jamie Spencer at 66 to 1. Then Minardi, Michael Canan at 5 to 1. Munir at 8 to 1. Richard Hills in the first colours of Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum. The second colours, the black cap on Nayef. Willie Supple at 10 to 1. Patsy's Double and Richard Quinn at 50 to 1. Red Carpet and Michael Fenton at 20 to 1. One of two for Chiefly Park, the white cap on Red Carpet. Rumpold in a white cap on Godolphin. John Carroll at 9 to 1. Tamburlaine and Richard Hughes at 12 to 1. Tempest, Johnny Murta riding in the blue cap for Chiefly Park at 20 to 1. Taboog in the first blue colours of Godolphin, Frankie de Tori, 9-2 favourite. At the bottom, Velata, Ted Durkin on 100-1 out. Tribute the death here, 9-2 from fives though, Minardi. No change, 8-1 Munir and 9's Rumpold. 10-1 Drifting Nayef, 11-1 going out all the time, Golan. 12's Tamburlaine now, steady 14-1 Frenchman's Bay. Also steady at 14's King's Irons Bridge. King's Irons Bridge rather. And then 16-1 from 20's Divine Task, that's the unraced one. Godolphin, 20s red carpet and Tempest, Heretic 50s with Patsy's double, and 66 to 1 Imperial Dancer and Mayville Thunder, 100 to 1 bar though. 14 to 1 from 16 to 1, they're ready. The Colts Classic. And they break out of the stores. Munir with a white face restrained, leaving the gate. Velata broke out well in the noseband. Red carpet also keen early. White cap, red jacket in the centre. And Nayef is right there on the pace, unlike on his first race this season. Nayef in the black cap, tracking across with red carpet to the stance rail. Velata in behind them. Rumpold, who was keen to post, is also handy out wide. King's Ironbridge is pulling hard as they cover the first quarter mile. The leading bunch are then tracked by Taboog on the stands rail, the favourite under Frankie de Tori. Imperial Dancer is the back marker. Minardi, a white face on Michael de Boer's jacket in about the midfield as they race inside the final five furlongs now. Red Carpet and Nayef followed by King's Iron Bridge. Divine Task is just in behind them. Pulled to the outside, Heretic, then Mayville Thunder. Next is on the inside to boot with Rumpole just being niggled along. Munir is also making headway as well in the blue and white jacket, horse of the white face as they run down towards the final three furlongs and up front red carpet and Nayef they're dueling for the advantage and they've skipped a couple of lengths clear of King's Irons Bridge then Munir on the outside coming forward is Velata then Mayville Thunder back peddling is Rumpold Tabuk is under pressure Golan is making good headway on the wide outside together with Tamburlaine they run inside the dip in the Roly Marlow the clash of 2000 guineas it's red carpet on the rail Nayef out in the centre Golan's come swooping through with Tamburlaine then Frenchman's Bay and Munir it's Golan and Tamburlaine Lane. They battle on together now. Golan and Kieran Fallon, Tamburlaine and Richard Hughes. Frenchman's Bay is pulling on well at the finish, but Golan goes on to win the Guineas. Tamburlaine second in third, then Frenchman's Bay. They were followed home by Minardi Nevenera in fourth place, and it's gone to the same partnership of 12 months ago with Michael Stout and Kieran Fallon lifting this Sagitta 2000 Guineas. It was King's best in the year 2000 it's Golan this time a son of spectrum out of Highland Gift running in the colours of Lord Weinstock a fifth 2000 guineas win for Sir Michael Stout following Shadi Doyun entrepreneur and King's Best and a second win in this race for former champion jockey Kieran Fallon to one Tamburlaine second at 12 to one and Frenchman's Bay third at 14 to one to boo the unplaced favorite went off at four to one the tote win was 13 pounds 40 place dividend was five pounds 10 would you believe 360 for tamburlaine and 360 again for frenchman's bay the exacta 141 pounds and 50 pence and the computer straight forecast 114 pounds and 15 pence they went to about number seven and